Imagine taking one pill a day, every single day, for the rest of your life. Even in the best of circumstances, it is not easy. Even where you are able to take the pill openly, where you have access to clean water, food and health services, where you understand the importance of the pill, and where you always have the supply of pills you need. Even if your life and the life of your child depended on it. Because treatment has become simpler, mother-to-child transmission of HIV has decreased markedly over the past decade in Africa. This is a remarkable achievement, and yet women in Africa still struggle to adhere to their treatment. Stigma, discrimination, and lack of support from the community are some of the reasons for this. As well as infrastructure that is fragile, access to services that is unequal, and rampant health worker shortages. Poor retention in HIV treatment is well documented across the continent. One in every four pregnant and breastfeeding women living with HIV disengages from care after a year of starting treatment. So how do we change this? By improving women's knowledge about their health, by strengthening peer-to-peer -peer support and mentorship, by involving men in the health of their partners and children, by ending stigma in communities, families, and in health services and by removing health fees and laws that discriminate. It's entirely possible to remove barriers so that all mothers and children benefit from life-saving treatment and care. So that one day there is an end to AIDS for every child. <laughs>